Hello guys, in this video we are going to learn about real-time transport protocols and real-time playout with buffering and jitter control. Now coming to the real-time transport protocols, it was described in RFC 3550. It is widespread in the use of our multimedia applications such as streaming radio or video or VOIP etc. Initially, each application was having its own real-time protocol, but they were all similar, but became apparent that a genetic protocol that could handle multiple applications would be beneficial. So they have used this real-time transport protocols, RTP. So the RTP has two parts. First part of the protocol is for transporting audio and video data in packets. And the second part is that the processing that takes place usually at the receiver to play the audio and video at a correct time. So this is the general architecture of the real-time transport protocols, how it will work like. The figure A represents the position of a RTP in the protocol stack here. So it will be starting from the multimedia application. There will be a socket interface in between the UDP protocol and the RTP one. And the IP, the information will be passed to the IP and then into the Ethernet. And this is the package nesting structure of the RTP protocol. The, the use of the RTP protocol is to multiplex real-time data streams onto a single stream of UDP packets as shown in this figure. Packets are not specifically treated and have no guarantees about delivery. So the packets in the RTP protocol will not have any, any guarantee that they will be delivered to the destination. So the RTP header consists of 332-bit ports and potentially some extension. This is the structure of the RTP as I showed earlier. So now let's coming with to the playout with buffering and jitter control. Packets reach the receiver at different times. The variation of receiving the packets at different times is called as jitter. This will make video jerky at some of the times because some packets reach one time to the destination and the other packets reach a little bit late to the destination which should be received earlier. So to, to solve this, but we can solve this by introducing concept called buffering in which you delay the packets at the receiver to reduce the amount of jitter. So we will delay some, delay some of the packets so that they will receive late to the, to the receiver so that we can reduce the amount of jitter which is known as the variation applications can measure the jitter and find a good playback point by looking at the difference between the rtp timestamps and the arrival time so by looking at these things they can measure the jitter of an application of a video or anything so this is the general example of play out with buffering and jitter control. So the packets here will depart the source. Let us consider like there are eight packets, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So the packets arrives at buffer. So one packet, the packet one arrives first and after some time the two will be arriving and after some time three, four, five. So the packet eight will take a more time to arrive into the destination or at the buffer so so t until some time some of the packets will be kept the buffer will be full and after when the sixth packet arrives at the buffer simultaneously the removal of packets from the buffer takes place going on as you see here packet removed from buffer the one two three 